What is up geeks? I'm back today with another Star Wars Rogue One Funko Pop vinyl figure and this time is the Smuggler's Bounty exclusive Jin Erso Pop vinyl. Now if you guys haven't checked out my Death Trooper, I just did that review. Um, that's my last video so please check that out. Again also if you haven't checked out the unboxing for the Smuggler's Bounty Rogue One box, I also did a unboxing and review video for that. So without further ado, this thing is number 148 in the series. Jin Erso is the main protagonist for Rogue One, a Star Wars story coming out next week, guys. I will be seeing it Thursday, and I'm really excited. Let me know in the comments below, do you think this movie is going to be one of the best Star Wars movies of all time? What do you think it's going to rank? Let me know. I think, honestly, this could be potentially one of the best movies for Star Wars, just because it's going to be so different. And it's gonna, it's gonna be basically a prequel that connects the prequels and the original trilogy. And I think they're gonna borrow from the, you know, the best of both worlds. But anyway, before I rant on about that, I did a review for this Imper Imperial Death Trooper from Smuggler's Bounty. So please check that out. The Skyrim Stormtrooper I also reviewed. The C2B5 figure I will be reviewing. And also I'll be reviewing Krennic. And the rest of them I don't have right now but i'm sure after i watch the movie there's a chance i might buy some more of these pop finals i'm guessing also k2so he's uh he seems to be a pretty cool character so anyway let's open up this figure and uh this box and take a look at the figure <laughs> All right, so we have Jin outside of the package. Now, unfortunately, you can already tell that the way that the bobblehead is oriented, Jin's not point. Uh, Jin's not looking straight out. You know, with the uh, Star Wars stand straight to the camera, we have a little bit of a head tilt here. Um, actually, it's not just a little bit; it's a, a lot of bit because um, you know, typically it would be like this when it comes out of the packaging but for whatever reason it's pointing out that way now i can kind of adjust it you know there's springs here so if i really wanted to mess with it then i would but i don't really like doing that i don't really want to further you know mess up the figure and it's just um i just kind of do a couple of head turns and if it doesn't work then i'll just leave it because it, it kind of adds some character i mean it's not the worst thing in the world but it's just a little bit annoying um it, this wouldn't be a problem if these were vinyl figures, meaning they weren't bobbleheads, but because of Star Wars licensing with Hasbro, uh, just the FYI, that's the reason why the, these um, Star Wars pop vinyls are all bobbleheads. Same thing goes with the Marvel figures too. But anyway, I really actually love this figure. Um, I have to say too, coming out of the package, I see no paint flaws at all. I think this thing looks really great super clean i got really lucky with this pop vinyl it's just quality work here um and actually now that i said now that i said that let me take that back because there's a bit of a scuff mark here and i don't know if i can scratch that out i don't want to mess with it too much either there's just a bit of a scuff mark that's just me being a little nitpicky you could kind of see it there but otherwise everything else with the figure is pristine looks really great um, I love how uh, this outfit is, you know, compared to the other one you can get in the series. It looks a little bit too simple for me. Um, let me just focus in on that. So that's the other Jin Erso you can get. And I'm sure they're going to come out with a lot more Jin Ersos because she's the main protagonist of the story. Now she looks like she's coming with an E-11 blaster, a Stormtrooper blaster. Could be wrong, but that's what it looks like right there. Um, I'm not sure what this tube is here, but that's pretty reminiscent of like a TIE fighter pilot tube just colored brown That's what I think when I see that I love her attire. I love the little cape. It kind of reminds me actually of um, Endor what they were wearing on Endor actually uh, when they were riding those bikes both Leia and Luke in episode 6 So that looks pretty cool um, This one's a little bit interesting because you know, maybe she just uh, Oh, I guess once she puts her goggles down it would orient better with her mouth because i'm looking at this and i'm seeing like wait she's talking into it and it's all the way up here but um they got this little you know mic this little bluetooth mic i guess uh whatever it is um that looks pretty cool i really dig the, the goggles it came out really nice i really love the goggles it would have been cool too um just another option they could have went through is instead of painting over this maybe they could have done like a translucent lens uh maybe that's just too costly but 
the way that they painted over it kind of looks like a sticker even though it might not be a sticker it just it looks kind of cheap in that way so that could have been a better job to me um otherwise the sculpt work looks really nice i really like this design here it's very star warsy and um actually her hair too i, I didn't even notice that it's a, a little bun here at the end and that's pretty nice i like how there's there's little sideburns are coming out through two through the sides um that kind of reminds me of ray and you know there's a rumor that Jin is somehow related to ray maybe she's the mom you know whatever it might be but that's pretty cool i really like that what do you guys think of the figure please let me know down below guys i actually really like this figure and to be honest like i'm not excited for the character as much you know i'm excited for the movie in general i'm excited for the death troopers of course for darth vader krennic but for some reason i'm just not completely sold on this Jin urso character i just think she's kind of aggie you know in the trailer is what they've shown of her so far there really isn't much range i just see her being like a little po'd all the time and a little you know aggie that's the best way to say it. but um i'm hoping that they really show her emotional range i'm sure they will because star wars i trust in them i know their um you know their script i'm i'm betting is going to be great and the story of course is always great so Anyway, guys, let me know what do you guys think of Jyn Erso out of all the things that you've seen so far. Do you think she's going to be as great as Rey? Because I really fell in love with Rey. I loved Rey in uh, The Force Awakens. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please stay tuned for more reviews. I still have Krennic to review. Show them off right here. Just a little preview. And I also have C2B5, the black R2-D2. So little previews for you guys there. Until next time, embrace, express, and enjoy yourself. May the force be with you always, my young Padawan.